this just never gets old. What's going on guys? It's like five after six, been gone all day long and came straight home, grabbed my stuff, gonna check a trail camera and gonna hit the call a few times here and try to call in a coyote just before dark. I wanna show you this setup here real quick. Got the lucky duck set up right here, facing this way. You can see the sun's getting ready to go down. I've got my setup right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna be calling all this area right here. Let's go get set up, see what happens here. All right guys, here's the setup. We're gonna get set up here. Got that seat that I can put my call in. Got the 243. Got the main camera. Got the call. After this, I go completely silent and probably three to four minutes pass by, and then I start hearing something slowly coming my way in the wood line. Man, I don't know if you could see that or not, but Whew, sorry guys, that happened so quick. And it is so thick in here. Make sure this weapon's clear. Man, give me a second here. <laughs> it's so thick through there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I got this on video. Good for you guys. Man, 
<laughs> this just never gets old. Killing coyotes. Sitting in here in this thick stuff. Man, I got real quiet. I'm going to take this off of here. Give me a second. So it got real quiet. And I could hear something, but I couldn't see anything at all. I've called quite a few bobcats in, in this area. And I thought for sure it was just going to be another dang bobcat that I had to sit here and watch and film. But he finally came up this little draw here. And going a little bit slower than a coyote normally does, taking his time. But I could hear him start to trot. And then finally noticed that it was a coyote. And Man, I was trying to pick him up in this, in my main camera my camcorder for you guys he was right behind those bushes right there and he was looking right over here because i was trying to move the rifle i got the 243 out here just set up on one of the bog pods and uh, i was able to just barely inch my way over to him and get set up and just drilled him put a heck of a shot on him dropped him right in his tracks got the weapon cleared let's go take a look see what this thing is see if it's a male or a female but man that one got me shook up there like most of them do, but that was that was a good one just because I was pegged for so long. All right, guys, quick interruption here on the video. Man, I thought there was a really good chance that coyote was in frame. Uh, Self-filming super hard. I was trying to move as little as possible, and she barely snuck out of frame. So I'm super bummed about that. I was so fired up, thought she was in frame, thought I got everything on video. But you can see there, if you slow down the video, and I put a red arrow on it where the coyote was kind of taking its final resting place there right after I shot it. But don't stop watching the video now. I kind of get into a little bit more stand breakdown and then I also get into what calls I was using. So here we go, we'll get back after it. Oh yeah, there he is. He or she. Heck yeah. Man, I hope that's on film. It's dead. Little female, not real big. Man, that's awesome. Heck yeah. Pretty coat on her. Just drilled her, pretty good shot there. Dropped her in her tracks. Man, I hope that's on video. Shot her here, and it's gonna be hard to tell with this GoPro, but I'm set up right there. Calls right over in here. And she came out right along this ridge line right here on the opposite side. Might have cut up through it, but I didn't see her till about right here. All right, got her brought back here where I was kind of set up at originally whenever I shot her and just want to take a quick second and just kind of give you a quick rundown on the call sequence that I used on the Lucky Duck uh, Roughneck. So when I first got out here and got set up, it was probably about an hour before dark and got set up here and just used uh, some rabbit in distress at first. I think I used some desert cottontail, which I haven't used in the past here. And then I also used some high cotton. I've never used either one of those in this location right here. I like to try to mix things up as much as possible. So I let those play through for probably, I wanna say a total of 10 to maybe 12, 13 minutes, and went quiet in between each call for two to three minutes. And then after the last rabbit distress, let that go quiet for probably two to three minutes. And then I just went into a simple female vocal, just a female lone howl basically and whenever i shot this and whenever i first realized that it was a coyote i figured it was probably a male because i was using the female vocals but she might have been kind of territorial and was coming out to kind of pick a fight and, and run off whoever was howling at her but just kind of want to give you guys a quick run down there i like to try to mix things up um, throw some different music at their ears it worked out tonight it definitely doesn't work that way every time still pretty fired up from that and uh, if you guys have any questions at all on my setup call sequences anything like that make sure and comment down below as always i appreciate you guys being here for this ride this stuff never gets old and uh, just want to say thanks to you guys happy hunting be safe see you next time bye